Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy, it's your official back again with another video. I've seen a lot of you guys asking to see some Versace on the channel, so I finally got a belt in for you lot today. The particular model I'm going to be looking at is the Palazzo belt with the trademark 3D Medusa head buckle. It is a very simple belt, so what I'll do is unbox it for you quickly, take it for a quick fit review, and then round up the video with a short summary. The retail price for the Palazzo belt on Versace's official website is £290. The strap is 100% leather, so none of that canvas stuff that we've seen on quite a few of the other high-end designer belts and then we've got the gold 3d medusa head buckle now this obviously isn't real gold i don't even think it's gold plated if you go into the actual versace website and find the listing for this belt there's no mention of anything to do with gold and if it was real gold that's something they would include in the description so therefore it's safe to assume that there's no real gold on the buckle at all having said that it does have a really nice classy finish to it it is a bit of a big buckle so it does stand out a lot when you wear it as you'll see shortly but if that is your style and you're one of those people who wants to stand out a lot then you can't go wrong with this belt here So in terms of sizing on the Versace belt, I am a 32 inch waist and when wearing the belt I had to use the furthest hole to wear it comfortably. If you are 32 waist as well and your legs are quite big, it's probably worth going to size up in fact and getting a 95 because a 90 did feel a bit tight and there wasn't really room for adjustment if you do put on weight so I would suggest if you are the same waist size as me going that size up and getting a 95. Obviously it will work the other way and you can size down if your waist is smaller. All in all, if you are looking for a high-end designer belt, you won't be disappointed with the Versace belt if you are looking for something that's a bit out there. The belt is reasonably priced for what it is if you are comparing to some other luxury brands such as Hermes and Louis Vuitton for example. But then again, at the end of the day, it's still a belt, so you are paying a lot of money for it. However, if you do want to treat yourself, and like I said, if you are looking for specifically something that is designer, then this will probably tick a lot of boxes for you. All right, guys, so that sums up this Versace review. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, make sure you leave a like. I will be doing an authentication guide video on this belt, so do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Versace belt or any other belts you like and would recommend for people to wear. And with that being said, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace.